Hello, beautiful souls. It is Harmony Healer, your mental health therapist. Today, we will explore the art of self-compassion, managing daily stress, and nurturing emotional well-being. Let us create a life of harmony, one step at a time. Are you lonely? Did you know that being lonely is a normal part of our everyday lives? Let's face it, we have all been there. We get depressed when we fail our exams, when we are rejected by the person we love, or when someone very close to us passes away. That's just part of life. But, depression, however, can be more fatal than just plain loneliness. It could render lifelong consequences that could ruin your self-esteem, health, and well-being in the process. Well, today is your lucky day because I am going to share with you some great tips to help you conquer the melancholy mood, so you can get the most bliss out of your daily activities. So, with that said, let's go to tip number one. Do you get enough light and sunshine? Did you know that lack of exposure to sunlight is responsible for the secretion of the hormone called melatonin, which could trigger a dispirited mood and, or, a lethargic condition? Melatonin is only produced in the dark. What it does is, it lowers the body temperature and makes you feel sluggish. So, if you are always cooped up in your room, with the curtains closed, it would be difficult to restrain yourself from staying in bed. This is the reason why many people suffer from depression much more often in winter than in the other seasons. It is simply because the nights are longer. If you can't afford to get some sunshine, you can always lighten up your room with brighter lights to help offset the darkness. OR. You could go have lunch outside the office for a change and take frequent walks in the early afternoon instead of driving your car over short distances. The choices are endless. It is really up to you. Tip number two. Keep busy and get inspired. You will be more likely to overcome any feeling of depression if you keep your mind busy doing the activities you like doing the most. Do the things you love. If you are a little short on cash, you could engage in simple stuff like taking a leisurely stroll in the park, playing sports, reading books, or engaging in any activity that you have a passion for and would love to pursue. Also, set a goal. No matter how difficult or discouraging life can be, remain firm and have an unshakable belief that you are capable of doing anything you desire. With this kind of positive attitude, you will attain a cheerful disposition to beat the blues. Tip number three. Take a break. Sit back and relax. I mean it. Listen to some soothing music you like. Soak in a nice warm bath. Simply take a break from your stressful workload and spend the day just goofing around doing the things you love. In other words, go have fun. Life is too short as it is. Tip number four. Maintain a healthy diet and stay fit. Avoid foods with lots of sugar, caffeine, or alcohol. Sugar and caffeine may give you a brief moment of energy, but they will later bring about anxiety, tension, and internal problems. Alcohol on the other hand is a depressant. Many people would drink alcohol to simply forget their problems. All they are doing is aggravating their conditions in the process. Also, did you know that exercising regularly is a vital depression buster? Why you ax? Simply because it allows your body to produce more endorphins than usual. Endorphins are sometimes called happy chemicals because of their stress-reducing and happiness-inducing properties. Tip number five. Get a social life outside of work. No man is an island. Your inner circle of friends is there to give you moral support. Spending time and engaging in worthwhile activities with them could give you a very satisfying feeling. And now, we all know this. Nothing feels better than having group support. And never underestimate the power of touch. What I mean is, doesn't it feel so good, when someone pats you on the back and gives you words of encouragement during your most challenging times? Hug or embrace someone today. Get intimate. Establish close ties with your family and friends. The love and care expressed by others could tremendously boost your immune system and fend off illnesses. Best of all, you will live a more secure and happy life. 
Now go give these 5 tips a try and see how they pan out for you. Until our next session, remember that progress is a journey, not a destination.